you guys this holiday uh, makeup look. I know it's a little early for Christmas, but we are in December already. So I did want to bring you guys this, well, I originally was supposed to be a natural look with freckles, like full freckles. And it turned out to be this really glam makeup look, nothing natural. So I hope you guys like it. And if you want to know how I achieve uh, these fake freckles and this makeup look, then just please keep on watching. Hi guys. To get started with this makeup look, I'm using the foundation primer from L'Oreal Lumi. And this one has a luminous and hydrating finish, which is perfect because my skin is on the drier side because we're in the colder weather and I'm also using some acne water which is making my skin also very dry. Once I apply a layer of that, I'm just going to apply my foundation which is the MAC NC20 which is a little bit too light. So I'm gonna mix it with the Makeup Forever one which is a little too dark. And this combination always gives me a perfect shade for my skin which is awesome. I'm just going to apply that all over the face just to make sure that my blemishes are covered. For concealer today, I'm using this one from Revlon, and this one is the Age Defying Concealer, and I was obsessed with this back in the day, and I'm back in love with it because it is just so good. It is a little bit thick, so because of that reason, I always blend it out first with my fingers because the heat of my finger against my skin melts this concealer. It's best to blend it with your finger first, and then you can blend it out with your beauty blender like I will do, and this is just going to smooth all the edges out and make sure that nothing is harsh and that everything's blended out. To set the concealer, I'm using this e.l.f. Highlight and Contour Palette. I'm using the two lighter powders on the top, and I'm just going to apply that on all of the areas that I applied my concealer, and this is going to set it in place, and it's going to prevent it from creasing, cracking, smudging. You guys know the drill. And I'm also going to highlight with this, so I'm going to apply that on the areas that I want to stand out, and I'm gonna do the baking method. I'm just going to leave the powder to sit on the skin for a few minutes just to allow enough time to just sink in and to really set the makeup in place. While we're baking, I'm using the two bronzers from the bottom and I'm just going to give my face some definition, structure, depth because the powders always make our face look flat. And to bring some color to my skin, I'm going to apply that bronzer on the hollows of the cheeks, on the sides of the forehead, on the forehead and on the jawline. And right after that, I'm just going to blend everything out with a stippling brush that I got from Walmart. The drugstore carries this brand called Still, and that's the brand this uh, brush is from, if you're wondering, because I always get lots of questions. It's a really good brush, by the way. Picking up Gold Deposit by MAC. This is a highlighter slash mineralized bronzer you can use it for whatever and i'm going to use it for a mineralized bronzer so i'm just going to run that on the exact same areas that i used the previous bronzer and this is just going to give a nice luminous finish to that bronzer which i really love i'll leave my eyebrow and nose contouring routine in the description box if you're interested because i did skip that on the video because i show it in every single tutorial so once i do that i'm just going to move on with the eyes i'm taking this stila palette can't remember the name I'll leave it in the description box and I'm picking up this shade called bliss and I'm just going to apply that on the crease of my eye giving a little bit more depth into the area next I'm picking up this brown eyeshadow on the corner I can't remember the name I'll leave it in the description box I'll just apply that on top of bliss and this is going to darken the crease giving it a little bit more depth and definition which I really really like now I'm taking this mineralized eyeshadow and this one is a little bit of on the brown on the pinkish side it's really hard to explain but you guys can see it and I'm also going to run that on the crease again just giving it a little bit more depth and definition because it really changes the eye look and it gives it that really nice smoked out crease Taking the LA Girl Concealer in this shade yellow, I'm just going to carve out my lid with this and this is going to give me a nice soft cut crease. And once I finish doing that, I'm just going to go back in with Kitten. This is a very popular shade from Stila, which is one of my favorite ones. As you can see, I already hit pan and I'm almost out. With my brush and my fingers, I'm just going to apply that all over the lid, covering all the concealer. And I apply that with the brush just to make sure I have a more precise application. 
taking this black eyeshadow from the corner I'm going to pick it up with a small brush and I'm just going to start carving out the crease even more just to give me that nice cut crease that I really really like so slowly little by little I'm just doing very small strokes and lightly blending that black eyeshadow upwards just so that it's not so harsh Going back in with Kitten, I'm cleaning up that line just to make my crease even cut. And then I'm also going to apply that on the highest point of my eyebrow and on the tear duct area. As always, using my liner from NYC. You guys know this isn't news in my tutorials. That's the one thing I never change. And my mascara too. So I'm just going to do a regular wing. And then right after that, I'm just going to apply some coats of mascara with my Falsies Volume Express by Maybelline. You guys know it is a staple in every makeup look that I do. For lashes today, I'm using Cocoa Lashes in the style Soho with the Duo Adhesive Glue in the shade Dark. But meanwhile, the glue is getting tacky. I'm going to go back in with the dark eyeshadow. Now that I know where my wing is, I'm going to darken that cut crease just to give me a little bit more subtle cut crease and really smoked out crease if you know what I mean but once I've darkened the crease enough I move on to my lashes you guys know uh, these lashes are one of my favorite ones in the whole wide world I always set them in the center and then I place the outer corner of the lash and then the inner corner as close to my lash lines as possible taking this NYX light eye pencil I'm just going to run that on my bottom waterline and this is going to make my eyes look so much bigger and awake which is one of my tricks, you guys know I always do this in a lot of my tutorials. And right after that, I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes with some more mascara. I'm going to set my makeup with this Urban Decay setting spray and I'm just going to apply that all over the face. But just before it dries and while it's still tacky, I'm going to apply my highlight. Which in this case is Kitten by MAC. I love using eyeshadows as highlight. You do you. Honestly, it works for me. You do what works best for you. But for me, this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to apply that on the highest points of my cheeks, on the cupid's bow, and on my chin. I'm also going to mix the gold eyeshadow just to make my highlight less pink and more golden. Like a golden goddess. Which I really love this combination, by the way. And right after that, again, with my stippling brush, I'm going to blend everything out to make sure that there are no harsh lines. For the lips today, I'm using a combination of HodgePodge Lip Liner by MAC. And I'm just going to line my lips with that. And right after that, I'll use Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick, which is another one of my favorites. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lips and while that's mattifying because I really want it to be matte before I move on to the next step I'm going to do some freckles. I'm using the same thing that I use for my eyebrows which is the e.l.f. pomade which is super awesome. It's the e.l.f. kit. It comes with a pomade and it also comes in with a powder to fill in your eyebrows. So I'm going to take the cream side of this and a eyeliner brush that I cut super thin to make sure that the dots are very thin and natural. I'm just going to draw some dots on the areas that I think that are appropriate for freckles. And that's about it, you guys, super easy. I'm just going to repeat this and apply freckles wherever I think they're going to look good. And yeah, super easy, really nothing complicated. It's just a really good way to get freckles. And if you don't know what color freckles you have to use, just use whatever you use on your eyebrows and that should be good enough. Once I finish drawing the freckles on, I'm just going to go back in with my beauty blender and just blend them out and it's going to give me a more subtle and natural looking freckles. Now back with the lips, I'm just going to take Hodge Podge again from MAC and I'm just going to apply that all over the lips just to modify the lips even more. And yeah, that's about it you guys for the makeup. I hope you like it. Now moving on to the hair, I have been getting tons of questions if I'm wearing extensions for volume. So I decided to share with you guys what I do to achieve all the volume you guys see on all my tutorials. So I'm just going to apply some hairspray and then with any hairbrush, you can even use a teasing brush. I'm just going to comb the curls upwards and kind of messing them up and just doing the same thing with all of the curls in my hair and that's about it and as you can see the volume becomes from 0 to 100 double even triple the volume that I originally had which is insane I really love doing this trick because it makes my hair so puffy and it really gives me 
so much volume which I love so once I finish puffing out my hair I'm just going to tease the top part of my hair just to make sure that all of the hair is with volume and not just the bottom and the top is super flat and then I just comb my hair with my fingers and place it wherever I want it to be and that's it and that's how I achieve that hairstyle <laughs> So this is it you guys, I hope you like it and if you don't then it's already too late because you've already watched the video. And remember if you don't like something you can always swap it out, if you don't like the freckles don't do them. It's so simple. Life is not that hard. I swear, if you don't like something, just swap it for something that you do like or just don't do it, avoid it, or switch something that you don't want for something that you want. So simple. So this is it for today, you guys, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here, and as always, I'll see you on my next tutorial very soon. Bye-bye.